Hi everyone, welcome to the Frugal Rules YouTube channel. I'm John. And I'm Nicole. And today we're gonna to talk about something we get a lot of questions on the site about. How to get your local channels for free. The answer is a digital antenna. But before we dive into it, I just wanna remind you to click on the red subscribe button if you haven't already so you can be notified when we post a new video. Okay, now, just in case you're wondering what a digital antenna is, let's explain real quick. Do you remember rabbit ears? Metal antennas that looked like a V and sat on top of TVs in everyone's home? This is how we watched TV before there was cable. Well, about 10 years ago, rabbit ears got upgraded to digital antennas. Now, instead of an analog TV signal, local stations broadcast digital signals. The content is free, but the only way to get it is with a digital antenna, which you have to buy. The good news is that they're very affordable. We'll get into setting one up in just a minute. But first, we need to talk about two other things. What type of digital antenna you need and where to put it. Okay, so the first question, what type of digital antenna do you need? The answer depends on how close you are to the nearest TV broadcasting tower in your city. If you don't know where your nearest broadcasting tower is, there are websites that will show you where they are. The FTC has a great one, which we link to below, but it assumes you're using an outdoor antenna mounted 30 feet above the ground. Those are great, but they are more expensive and a little harder to install. If you live in a fairly big city like we do, you most likely will not need an outdoor antenna and will be fine with an indoor one like our Mohu Leaf. We recommend checking the FTC site, but also visiting Antennas Direct to see how close you are to the nearest tower. We link to this site as well below. Antennas Direct sells digital antennas and it's fine if you want to buy one from them, but I'd recommend price checking on Amazon first because you may find a better price there. So let's just look at a quick example. If I go to Antennas Direct and enter my zip code, and it shows me that there are four broadcasting towers within 35 miles of my house. There's another two within 50 miles and a final one within 60 miles. Knowing that we have multiple towers within 35 miles of my house tells me that we just need to make sure we buy a digital antenna with a range of at least 35 miles. Looking on Amazon, I can see that a Mohu Leaf 50 has a range of 60 miles. This is great news because we can get all the towers near us with it and it only costs 50 bucks. That's right, Nicole. And once you select a digital antenna and get it into your home, you need to figure out where to put it. Obviously, it's going to be near your TV, but the direction you point it makes a big difference. You've heard the old adage, location, 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 about real estate. Well, it's also true about digital antennas. You need to point your antenna in the direction of your nearest broadcasting tower. Going back to the Antennas Direct site, you can see little black dots on the map. The red locator dot is our house. The black dots show where the nearest towers are. Since the nearest one is southeast of our house, we want to place the antenna high up and facing southeast to get the best reception. When you set up your antenna, you have to play around a bit with it to get the best reception. Okay, now it's time to show you just how easy it is to set up an indoor digital antenna. And believe me, if I can do it, I know you can too. Your antenna will come with a cable and a power cord. The cord will make it super easy for you to see where to plug it in because it's labeled to TV. Depending on what model you buy, you may also get a 16 foot coaxial cable, which you can use to stretch your antenna a little farther away from your TV. Why might you need this? Well, like we said before, if your TV isn't in the best spot to receive the TV signal coming from your nearest tower, you might have to put your antenna a little farther away to get the best reception, which is when you might need a longer cable. We get great reception pretty close to our TV, so we don't need it. Now we actually have a Mohu Curve, which is a solid frame and base, and it's a little different than the Leaf, which is thinner and flexible like a Leaf. If you buy the Leaf, you also get some sticky tabs that you can use to stick the antenna to your wall. Mohu even says that these are paintable, so you can paint it to match your wall and have it blend in if you want. You'll also see a power adapter in your packaging. We actually don't use ours because our TVs have USB ports in them, so we just power the antenna through the TV. If your TV doesn't have a USB port, you can just plug your antenna into the wall. 
Then you screw one end of the coaxial cable into the back of the antenna and screw the other end that says 2TV into the coaxial receptor on the back of your TV. Once your antenna is screwed in, the next step is scanning for channels on your TV. Next, you want to turn your TV on and go to the settings area. Every TV is obviously different, so look for something like channels and inputs, or channels, or set up TV channels, and select that. From there, find the cable slash antenna output option and select antenna. Then select auto program mode. It will tell you it will search for channels. Select OK. This will take several minutes. Let it search. Eventually it will start finding and showing you all the channels that are in your area that you can pick up. After that, go back to your TV home screen and select the TV option from your menu to start watching your local channels. So, as you can see, setting up a digital antenna is super easy and it should only take you a few minutes. Yeah, even if you're totally uncoordinated like me, and Nicole will attest to that, it's pretty painless. But once you have your antenna set up, you might decide you want more than just your local channels. If that's the case, there are a few excellent streaming services for you to consider. If you want to watch a deeper dive into all the best streaming services, check out our video on that topic. A great supplement to local channels through your digital antenna is the Disney Plus Hulu and ESPN Plus bundle. For just $12 a month, you receive all three streaming services. Disney Plus has already become a staple in our home. All the Disney Princess movies, all the Disney animation classics, along with all Star Wars movies and series ever produced is available. Hulu has a large library of on-demand titles including movies and TV shows and original programming like The Handmaid's Tale and Castle Rock. ESPN Plus has additional content that sports fans like me will love. The price is great, and when you pair it with your local channels, you'll have plenty of content to keep you busy. A second streaming service to consider adding to your local channels is Philo TV. For just $20 a month, you get nearly 60 channels. You'll get some of my favorite ones like HGTV and AMC. You'll get a lot more. The only downside to Philo is that it doesn't include sports channels. If not having sports is a deal breaker for you, I understand. Consider our third option, Sling TV. Sling TV has been around for several years. It's easy to use and the menu makes it simple to find something that you want to watch. And they have two channel packages, orange and blue. Orange is cheaper than blue and it includes ESPN. It costs $25 per month. Blue is a little more, $40 per month, but it includes all the Fox Sports channels. If you want to keep your price down and watch channels like HGTV and ESPN, choose Orange. Try it or Philo free for seven days and see what you think of them. Go with the one you like best or just stick with your digital antenna. Either way, you'll be able to save huge money over cable. That's money you can put towards saving, paying down your debt, and other things that you're trying to accomplish. Yeah, and if you want to know more about how to save money on any income, check out our new video on that topic. We put links to everything we talked about today in the post below, so check those out. And don't forget to leave us questions and comments. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe for more content.